Polymer based sheet and film, a key stage five revision source. Sustainability and polymers. Polymers can be refused, reused and rethought, but many polymers can be recycled using the identification codes. This, however, is harder for some depending on the product is used to make and how that product is assembled. If a product has been made using a variety of polymers and it cannot be easily disassembled, then it will be harder for that product to be taken apart and for each polymer to be recycled. A good example of this is foam board, as it is made using two outer sheets of card which are bonded to the foam. This makes it harder to recycle, so it's more likely to be reused. Here's your chance to have a little think. Why are cellulose polymers more sustainable? Take a moment to think about your answer. Thought about it? Good. Cellulose polymers, such as cellulose acetate, are made from natural resources, such as cornstarch. This means they can naturally break down, giving nutrients back to the earth. They are more sustainable, as they are made from renewable sources and they are biodegradable. OK, so let's read through some polymer based sheet and film materials. Uh, there is a table here. You can see it's got three columns. First column gives you the name. Second gives you the properties or the performance characteristics of that polymer. And the third column gives you your uses. So let's start with the top one, foam board. It has two outer layers of card with a foam middle core and it is available in a range of thicknesses. Uh, it is mainly used for mood board backing, presentation boards and modelling. Fluted PP, polypropylene sheets. They are extruded sheets with integral flutes or corrugations. They are lightweight and easily bent along the flutes. They are commonly used for signs such as construction site signs, sale boards for estate agents. Uh, they're also used for storage box, construction, portfolio cases and small models. Next one, translucent PP sheet polypropylene. An extremely tough polymer sheet can be scored before bending to produce a plastic hinge, which can be folded many times. Virtually impossible to tear and it is water resistant. It is commonly used for packaging products, folders and boxes. And finally, we have styrofoam. It is dense. It is a closed cell foam. It's commonly blue in colour. It can be cut and shaped and sanded with standard workshop tools. Its uses. Commonly used for product modelling, formers for moulding and laminating. OK, so here we have three more. We have low density polyethylene or LDPE sheet. They are tough. They are available in thin sheet form. They are transparent. They're good chemical resistance and they are flexible. They are commonly used for food wrapping, air pillow packaging, bubble wrap and carrier bags. Next one. Plastazote foam. They are a closed cell polyethylene foam. They are tough, flexible, good impact resistant, impermeable to the liquids. Commonly used for protective packaging, swimming floats, gym and exercise mats, sound and pipe insulation and stage props. Moving on to cellulose acetate. It is transparent, it is tough, and it is naturally biodegradable. It is commonly used for packaging film, membranes, and photographic film. And last but not least, we have polyactide. It is transparent, it is tough, and naturally biodegradable. Naturally biodegrades. It is commonly used for biodegradable packaging film. So this is where the fun begins. This is the exam question I would like you to answer. Name and justify a polymer that would be suitable for food packaging. This question is worth seven marks. Okie dokie. So we've just gone through those different types of polymer 
based sheet materials. More than one will be suitable for food packaging, okay? More than one. Your job is to read through them or re-listen to them. Name one and then justify that polymer. So let's look at the marks here. It's seven marks. You will get one mark straight away for naming the correct polymer. The six marks you will receive after that is through your justification. So you need to consider three different points as to why that polymer is suitable and then you need to argue your point across. OK, so three different points and then argue why that makes that polymer uh, correct for food packaging. And that will get you the seven marks in total. So before you read through, think about what food packaging actually is. Think about what it is used for, the function and what the consumer is looking at and what makes it suitable. Think more, though. Think more than just the properties that are being stated. Think about where they are when they're not in a manufacturer's, when they've gone to their distributors and maybe they're on the shelf in the middle of a supermarket. Think about that and that will help you to maybe include some uh, points that aren't necessarily in the tables we've just gone through.